everybody, this is Praxis, and today my dad is on site helping me uh, try to finish up a lot of the electrical stuff. Uh, there were some junction boxes that needed to be finished up. There are some outlets, like for this uh, range oven, which is still sitting here kind of in the middle. We gotta finish up the electric on that. Uh, and, uh, you know, just some uh, you know, various switches here and there. Uh, but uh, in particular, what I'm uh, working on is uh, these light fixtures here. These are all those circular boxes that we had to put in. We had to swap out the square ones, put in these circular ones so that they could hold a fan, even though we're never gonna put a fan up. Uh, I'm getting these guys ready to have their lights put in and what I'm doing to prepare for that is get some uh, a wood seal on there. Uh, now last time I built a house I kind of like said well I'm just gonna move in and then I'll do all the sanding and all the wood sealing and all that kind of stuff later and it never really happened. So I'm trying to do as much as I can ahead of time uh, and, and do it when it's easy to do. Once there's lighting fixtures on there, you know, you don't want to have to kind of like go around the lighting fixture. It's a lot easier now to just get the stuff up there. So I'm getting all these guys ready so that uh, we can hopefully get some lamps uh, in there today. Uh, the other thing that's going on today is uh, uh, really doing a real burn on the wood stove. Been uh, doing just a little bit of burning a scrap, you know, to make it comfortable in here. But today it is, it was like 20 degrees when we got here. It's like maybe 30 degrees outside right now. We're doing a real burn on the wood stove to try to just get this place heated up and see how uh, the floor performs. Uh, we're sending a lot of heat up to the top of the house right now. It's coming off here, going straight up. And we're venting that down under the floor. And uh, so far, it's working really well. When the hot air gets out of the exit vent over here, it's coming out in like maybe the upper 50s, which means we're, we're storing an enormous amount of heat down in this slab. Uh, which is really going to uh, moderate the temperature swings in the house. Whenever you heat with a wood stove, there's a tendency when, you, you, when you're heating, and I can feel it right now on the back of my leg, it gets really, really hot. And then, you know, you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and it's cold, and then you heat it up and it's really hot and it's really cold. That can be exciting because, like, you have July in the middle of January, you're, like, you know, uh, shorts and a t-shirt and your flip-flops. Uh, you know, you're looking out through the windows and there's uh, snow out there. But it can also be a little bit, uh, you know, difficult. Like, you know, you wake up in the morning and it's cold. So you, it's nice if you can take those big swings and even them out a little bit. That's what the tunnels under the floor were uh, intended for. And so far, so good. They seem like they're working. I can't highly recommend enough the idea of having a wood stove in your house. You know, for sure, you know, you get ash and stuff like that occasionally. And, you know, you got to lug in your firewood. But there are so many benefits of having the wood stove because what's going on right now is I'm heating the house really effectively. I mean, it's really comfortable. You come in from the outside, you're cold. You go right up here and in no time you're feeling toasty. I'm also uh, boiling water for tea, I'm cooking dinner for tonight, and we're doing all of it with trash and like sticks that fall out down outside. We're just burning, you know, some of the, the scrap wood construction process, some cardboard, you know, again, like just, you know, deadfall kind of stuff out there. So you're getting all of these uh, great deliverables off of essentially throwaway garbage. I really love it. I know that it's a little bit of an extra investment, but in terms of like uh, an emergency situation, if you lose your power, it's really nice knowing that you have such a simple device that can keep you warm and keep your house from freezing. So we're gonna get back to doing electrical. Oh, by the way, yesterday was a super effective day. Uh, sheathing out there, getting all those wall boards on. I went, did about half of the whole wall. I think I can do uh, the other half. It's just like shorter boards uh, in another day. We're getting really, really close. Finish up electrical. Get the plumbers in here. They're not calling me back, by the way. <laughs> but we got to get the plumbers back here to fix all their leaks. Uh, and then install the handrails, and then we can move in. That's it. So uh, that's good news. Uh, although, that said, before I do move in, I do want to seal a bunch of the stuff and finish sanding some things. Because like I said before, you never do it once you move in. That's it. Thanks for watching.